All right, guys, back again. I know it's been a long journey since, uh, journey. <laughs> yeah, a long time since my last video on the 190, but here's a little update. Um, now at the workshop, I'm pretty sure if you guys have watched uh, any other month of my videos, I think I got a couple of them that I was here. But the uh, car is uh, almost fully buttoned up. I'll get into a little detail. But yeah, M104 turbo six speed. Um, some of the piping was used from before. This car was one uh, M103 turbo, never ran properly. The wiring was horrible. Uh, a lot of the the sensors weren't even hooked up properly, like the map sensor and things like that. So I don't even know how they tuned it. But again, M104.992 uh, motor, four worn SX200 turbo. Turbo bandit, turbo manifold, and uh, wastegate setup, which had a couple issues with it. One, the flange wasn't flat, it was kind of warped. The flange on the, I guess I'd say the runners to the engine is what I'm talking about, in multiple directions. The flange on the turbo was also, it was, I'm not sure if it was warped or the, what was it called? The holes that were drilled and tapped were not drilled and tapped at the same angle. There was one that was way out and you couldn't get the turbo onto the flange with the uh, studs in. So you have to take it out and put it at a weird angle and put it back on. Also another thing with the manifold, the wastegate hit the engine mount, which was a huge problem. And I had to make my own engine mounts. The only other way I could get motor mounts, he said it was to Turbine wanted me to buy the motor race motor mounts that he made, and or just ship ship the turbo the the manifold back with my engine mount that I had on the car, so he can modify it. He said. So I like to make my own. I'll show you the clearance once I'm underneath the car. Uh, a couple things up here, catch can, and there is a little. Uh, I guess that would be called. And vacuum port manifold. Uh, the throttle body on it is a just a mechanical spring one that I got on eBay. Uh, key 45 throttle position sensor, and uh, I gotta I gotta do all the wiring now for it, which is kind of way more intense than I originally planned because the original way it was wired the whole entire harness computers everything was shoved into the driver side compartment underneath the knee pad all right i want to make a video reference just so people know what's up underneath the dash wires yeah so here's a loom that heads over up here and it was wrapped around here around the uh what the fuck is this steering column and uh, there are a bunch of leads that go other places that I'm not sure where they go. Like this is in the loom. And like some look like they connect to speaker wires. But dude, all this. Um, that's not a really good spot for it. And the dude cut a hole in the firewall so water was leaking inside of the cabin. I'm guessing it might have even been leaking on the, the wires for the, uh, the ECU. Actually, it's definitely sure. But I pulled that back out. I want to mount them over here the relay and the ECU you just run the wires back in this way so I actually had to take them out of the car and a couple of the lengths I had to change a couple of things were wired into the wrong wrong uh, pins and uh, yeah, I'll show that to you over here here you go so this is where I'm wiring there also was a bunch of relays that were not used there still is, I think, a 40 amp fuse that shouldn't even be in there because the max current on this should be uh, 20. Inside the relay box, there are a bunch of burnt wires going to, again, relays that weren't functioning, which was weird. Not functioning, which had no function. One of them did, which was one that was connected to the map sensor, which I don't know why I was on a relay. Anywho, <clears throat> I already finished up the injectors. I have to do the igniters. They're here. I have to change all those pins to, or 
connectors to the ones that's on the car right now. There's Audi, uh, Audi coils on it, which I kind of like because you could still use that plastic cover that goes on it, so it's going to look pretty OEM. Um, but yeah, let me get the car in the air and show you guys. All right, now we're underneath. All right, so I have the exhaust connected back up. This is a single three inch all the way. Uh, the drive shaft setup. Uh, initially, it was supposed to be just the OEM cut and uh, cut and extended, but the no drive shaft shop wanted to mess with it except one who then couldn't figure out how to do it. So I had to get a whole entire shaft and use flanges. Uh, Mr. 300D, I think, uh, recommended it for Ben's Force. Uh, Transmission mount, six feet transmission. There's a wastegate setup, it dumps uh, atmospherically. And there's the downpipe. Also, engine mount, what I was telling you guys about. Hopefully it focuses. Yep, there it goes. Engine mount clearance with the wastegate. Whoa, almost dropped my phone. But yeah, if you can see the. Uh, it's probably, I don't know, like an inch, but if you guys know the factory Mercedes mounts, they, uh, they're pretty massive, so I don't see how he thought it would work, but he says a lot of people uh, have done it on 201 chassis and never had issues with uh, wastegate interference, <coughs> wastegate interference with the uh, engine mount. But yeah, hopefully I'm running and have some better videos for you guys. But yeah, this is where it is now. Also, I put my uh, I put my wheels that are going on the wagon on it just to see how the fitment was. I'll actually lower it and let you guys check it out. This is how it looks. It's an 18 by nine. It's an 18 by, yeah, 18 by 9 with a 40 and a 10. So it's 18 by 9 with a 30 offset in the rear. And a 265 on it. Clearly will stick out of the stock body. This has flares on it. So it looks pretty good. Uh, I'd say dead on perfect if the flares were, like, you know, Evo 1 flares and not these things. In the front, uh, 18 by 8. I believe these are also like a, there's 18 by 8 with a 20 or something on it. That was a spacer. Boom, roll over fenders. That's pretty straight. Anywho, yeah. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe. I'll make more stuff, hopefully, and it's new year, so you know, maybe I'll actually keep my word on making new videos. Not maybe, I promise, peace.